All right, in this post, we're going to take a look at some common free throw mistakes and proper free throw mechanics. Okay, in this first look, we're going to take a look at a poor follow through. I want you to notice where the fingers are pointing after this shot. On a good free throw, fingers will be pointing down into the target. On this shot, the wrist is hooked to the right. His arm falls off to that side, and his fingers are not in line with the rim. And this causes the shot to be off to the right and bounce off the rim. All right, let's watch it again in slow motion. On this shot here, the wrist is hooked to the right. His arm falls off on that side. His fingers are not in line with the rim. This causes the shot to be off to the right. Look where the ball hits the rim. Terrible follow through. All right, well, here's another example of a terrible follow through. Watch this guy. He's tilted and again causes his shot to miss because he doesn't follow through properly. See his hands? Watch this in slow motion now. We're going to start off slow. He brings it up to take the shot. Takes the shot. Now look, I circled this picture. See where his hands are. Watch what happens after this. His hands separate. You need to follow through with your hand dipping into that rim like you're tipping it in there. All right, in this section, we're going to take a quick look at the improper use of legs. You know, getting the ball to the rim on a free throw is way more about bending your knees and using your legs to generate power than using your arms to throw the ball at the rim. In this shot, the player does not bend his knees and generates no power on his shot. The ball does end up on the front of the rim, but never had a chance to go in. And even though the shot was at the rim, it could have gone in if he used his legs to generate the power to get the ball over the front of the rim. All right, here's another issue. It's called hesitation in the shot. The shot should be one fluid motion from start to finish, from the bending of the knees to the follow through. Any hitch in the shot will throw off the timing and negatively affect that shot. Now here, right before release, watch as the player pauses before the release. This messes up his timing and causes him to miss the shot. Right here, you'll see him start the motion, then pause for a moment, then miss the shot. Here's another example of improper free throw mechanics. This one's about falling away from the line. To me, this is a confidence issue, and it says that the player does not want to be on the free throw line and does not believe he's going to make the shot. Just watch here as he puts up the free throw and then leans back off the line. This throws off all attempts at a fluid motion, and then he clangs the shot off the back of the rim. It is imperative that the shooter stay balanced on the line as the shot goes up and that they follow through. Any extraneous motions can hinder that shot and any chance it may have of going in. Well, now let's look at the right way to take a free throw with J.J. Redick. Now, this guy here, he's an excellent free throw shooter. He bends his knees, he has fluid motion through his shot, keeps his elbows straight, follows through with his wrist, and he doesn't fall off the line. Let's take a look at this shot. Notice his presence. Very commanding, seems very confident, gets the ball. Watch him go through the process here. Deep breath, bend the knees nice follow through. I think this is excellent for us to go back and take a look at in slow motion again. You'll notice his routine, okay? Sees the net, nice target, bends the knees, look at the follow through, dip, my fingers in the rim. Excellent job. Here's another example of it, different shot. You're gonna see the same thing. This is from the front now, nice angle here. See the follow through? We're gonna again, we're gonna take a look at that in slow motion. We like to slow things down so you can really look at the mechanics. Okay eye on the target. Look where his head is. He's straight. He's balanced. Watch the follow through. Dip his fingers in the rim. Ball goes in. Excellent free throw technique. Excellent mechanics. Okay, well some of these things we looked at are mechanical issues while others are confidence issues. The mechanical issues that we looked at, like the lack of follow through, the poor use of legs, those things can be fixed by watching film with a good coach who can notice these things and then teach you the right mechanics and then of course with repetition and practice. The other things that are mental, the non-fluid release, the falling off the line, these things are more difficult to fix because unfortunately most basketball players spend less than 5% of their practice time working on the mental game. Well, the only remaining question I have is how are you doing with your free throws? Are you making enough shots from the line? If not, I know that Peak One Performance can help you. For a limited time, we are offering a free digital video analysis of your free throws to help you and your coach see the problems with your shot and allow you to take the corrective steps. This film will also allow the Peak One Performance confidence coaches to see where they might be able to help you with your pre-shot performance routine and help you with your mental game. But for a limited time, we are offering this absolutely free. To schedule your consultation, just get a hold of us at 970-368-4747 or respond to us by email at reply to peak at gmail.com to schedule your appointment today.